Love you, you'll be my greatest sin. Hi guys. So, been long time, eh? Nikitambo, by the leo, msi mind kofia, eh? Inyoele, nifikirie tu kama gangster wife, ya? First and foremost, people, lot of appreciate. Kila mtu, by the way, ni mesa hao, ni mesa hao. Tatu rudi kwa kizongo. First and foremost, I want to appreciate everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed. Everyone who is viewing without subscribing. Na wapenda wote. And, leo, naanza by the way, to share chaos. This is a bit awkward for me because I make a for long bila ku have like a one on one. But when you know it's recent, so for me it's been so long. Leo, I want to talk about or not talk about modesty. Because I feel like modesty is this like key topic to it just it has a negative vibe. Sijuika kwa kuna feeling hivyo but kwangu for me when people talk about modesty it just makes me feel like I need to put my voice like nataka mic to ni shift. Why? Ni shift conversation. So leo I want to talk about self control cuz I feel like recently for me nimekuwa out of control. Eh? So tunakuja kuongea about my issues au by the way, leo tuki swahili na flow, so let's go with swa. Foreigners to dawa translate ya. Kenye na translate ya, kanda wa translate ya. And I have an audience, so in case kukwe na awkwardness, kwe jua kuna watu background. Sawa. Anyway, number one, reason why I don't talk about modesty is this. I feel like a lot of people when they talk about modesty it's like a backlash to females you know like to see why crop tops eh? like definition ya modesty ni nini mi sina dictionary niko nayo lakini koko na mahali sina time ya kuitafuta so first thing me when i think about modesty i think about dress code i think about uh being appropriate sindio but society yetu imekuwa like modesty is a female issue imekuwa like msema modesty be modest na kwanga the idea yenye ina pop up in your head is about female ameva something short or something in onesha si mnajua mnaelewa hii lugha sindio but for me when i think about modesty i think about it this way I think about choices za watu. Choices za watu zikikuja kwa being appropriate. Ushaipanda mat, alafu mse anakuja tu kukalia kiti amekuwekelea kimkono na ni jioni na sweat na nuka kila mahali. For me that is like ukisema be modest, kama unamwambia rusha mikono yako, position yako, si ndio? So na divert eh na try kuwa serious lakini kofi imeniharibia siku kwa watu inawapeleka anga hivyo kwa wangu inawapeleka inanipeleka hivi so number one, what i want to, to discuss about self control because i'm not talking about modesty tutupilie tu hiyo word modesty mbali tuonge about self control i feel like self control ndio inafai kwa law behind every issue involving modesty before anyone talks about being modest i feel like kila mtu anafai back up first and foremost with self control because self control in a lot of things and in our society to make kwa to keep a modesty to cover up issues za watu when people abuse people they cover it up with modesty ina kwa issue like alikuwa amevaa nini mtu akiabusiwa the first question inakuanga alikuwa amevaa nini mtu akifuatwa inakuanga alikuwa amevaa nini instead of looking at the person who is in the wrong mse wa kufuatana si ndio i hope mnaelewa so let's make self control the law and not modesty ju modesty honestly kuna mtu akiona chali ameva skinny jeans hiyo kwake ni inappropriate eh? 
atakuwa ata feel like I need kumwambia be modest. Kwangu nikiona chali amevaa skinny jeans it's fashion. Nikiona dem ama mimi nikivaa crop top. Kuna mtu hata view like a fashion statement. Kuna mtu hata view ni kama watu wao wanafuatwa. Unaona? So really modesty ni kama kigeugeu. It's a kigeugeu issue. It's a kigeugeu topic. Hakuna mtu anaweza define the terms of modesty in our times even if iko clear cut in definition. Sindio? So number one, let's make self control the law because ukifanya self control iko the law hakuna mtu atakuwa na cover up abuse for issue ya modesty ya timili abuse kwa sababu wako ameva kitu short ama ameva kitu revealing like that's nonsense ndio tushikilie ma feelings au sio haya number two, self control inasemanga i have the power in our society modesty inasemanga you have made me do it hiyo ni lugha ya abusers abusers hakunanga siku wanasemanga mimi ndo nilifanya mimi ndo nilichuse inakuanga wewe ulifanya nifanye nikikupiga wewe ndo ulifanya nikupige unaona hakunanga mtu anakuanga na choice wa discuss about modesty so why we need to talk about self control over modesty is to take back the power the choice kufanya watu responsible for the choices they make si ndio leo tunaenda chap chap kwa sababu stima ni akanjo number three self control equalizes this means that ukiongea about self control kila mtu anafikiria anafiki, yangi ni kitu ya wasichana <laughs> wacha tusafishe lugha mtu afikiri yangi self control it's a female issue ama it's a male issue mtu akisikia self control anajua ni kila mtu eh? jesus alikuwa na self control shetani hana ana run wild kama wengine wetu huku sometimes so ukiongea okay, about modesty na kwa about ni wasichana eh? and i think wasichana wangu eh, tumechoka na hii issue na kama kuna majama pia uko amechoka kusikia baby mama wa ma sister kishinda kipigiwa mayo ya modesty when it's a fashion statement when you are real one eh? I am. so my point is when it comes to this self control in equalize so to wache kuongea about modesty tuanze kuongea about self control kwa sababu honestly in our generation modesty si issue eh kama umeangalia staki kupo it's not like niko na trillion followers but i'm saying kuna hii song ili pop time ya quarantine eh hiyo time yenye hata migua zikuwa zinasonga na ili popularize so much with every kind of person every culture every race every faith na ilikuwa the most revealing inappropriate to say to inappropriate instead of modesty it was the most inappropriate song but it hit so to come kwa next door tuna try kufanya like we don't know these things inafanyika like it's not normal in our generation and kusema it's not at ime normalize it does not mean it's right but i'm just saying to wache kuweka weight kwenye weight haiko tweke wait kwenye self control iko sasa hizi wasio wanatafuta watu hii wanaabuse watu hii wanaabuse wanyama yani hata ngombe yako iko in safety imagine that and you're still talking about modesty sasa ngombe ivai pia nguo ha huh? like tukwe tu serious tweke issue kwenye issue iko issue ni self control issue si modesty mtu mwenye hana self control hata uvai gunia eh hata uvai nguo ina ina inaitwa aje inafagia dust mtu hana self control is at abuse kwa sababu hajui kushikilia Kenya na feel i hope una get what i'm saying number what by this year as juka tunaenda na number but you follow to follow to kwa sababu passion iko number what tutoke kwa namba twende kwa modesty sitaki kusema ti modesty doesn't matter so 
kwa hii part ya self control i need to talk about peer modesty i think most of us tukifikiria ni very hard kuweka boundaries ama ku draw the line when it comes to modesty if you love fashion kwa sababu kila kitu unajua like huwezi angalia ngoni kama inafanya mtu afeel kwa abuse unaangalia ngoni kama ni fashion ni expression ni kama art hakuna mtu anachukua anga paint akifikiria ati ikiekwa kwa exhibition mtu ataimis represent miss judge miss whatever unajua like ata miss information yenye uliko na paint nayo hivyo ndio mtu aki dress msi yako passionate about fashion ufikiria fikiria nje ati nikivaa kitu short nina try ku attract an abuser ama na, na try ku attract a stalker you get inakonga tu an expression so to the people who look at it as fashion nataka tu kila mtu ako aware that hauna control over everyone uko na control peke over yourself so it's also good uki dress kitu be aware of your surroundings usi dress like tuseme usi dress kitu short na unaenda hood na by the way isi kupatia hood jina mbaya but tunajua venye hood iko sometimes ukiva kitu revealing ama short ukiwa in the hood especially when it's giza giza hivi unajiendanger hiyo ni like tuonge tu real life si ndio so like but ukiva tuseme unaenda kama a festival a fashion festival no matter what you wear kila mtu ataangalia like fashion statements okay another misconception nataka ku bust me about um how we perceive kama next donate back ivaki to inappropriate to nasema inappropriate in quotes cause fashion na tu kila mtu ako na perspective different mtu uh, atapata so much judgment right but ukiangalia okay, in social media the people who don't even dress anything the same people when you who shout uku kwa nini my neighborhoods you're the same people on endanga ku follow wale wasi wana post nike do not get so it's like uh it's like hypocritical kusema mse unajua mse familia haizi dress a certain way but ukienda on social media kwenye kuwasea wa kuoni wewe ndio uko una like una post una share wewe ndio umekuwa publicity umekuwa pr kwa wasi una get so let's protect our people eh alafu tuache ku cover up people in places of title in the name of modesty at alivaso alifanya nani jua ko kwa pulpit anguke alianguka jua na self control another thing to watch to pretend that people don't have feelings kila mtu ako na feelings kila mtu ako na potential ya kufikiria vibaya kila mtu ako na potential ya kurusha maneno mabaya difference ya good people and bad people ni kujua time ya kusema nini na time ya ku shut up una get like kuna time ya silence kuna time ya kuongea na hiyo ni struggle kwa a lot of us eh tuseme ukweli eh hata ninue mkono wa kwanza najua wewe uko perfect mimi siko perfect so let's be real at self control si at watu wazuri ni wazuri because they don't have bad feelings or they don't get these emotions that kila mtu ana get power tu ni self control si kila mtu anasemanga Kenya na feel na si semi ati ukifeel low ufai kuongea about it just know who to speak to about it ukifeel angry just know how to react about it kwa sababu hakuna siku mi personally hata ni semi personally hakuna siku ni shy feel poor ku react uh what i refresh mtu akinifanya kitu mbaya it does not make me feel as bad as reaction yangu to what that person did do not get So ndio maana tunaongea about self control. Kwa sisi wote we need your inaitwaje. Uh, all of us cuz sisi wote tuna, tuna need like your calming down eh. 
like unaleta energy chini unafikiria thoughts zako una shift ni nini amana nini si amana si ndio by the way topic ni random so hata sijui kama niko left ama right but kama umeshika kitu thank you and again asante kwa kila mtu ame like kila mtu ame share kila mtu ame subscribe na nimeona pia instagram imekuja na energy pressure eh hata mtu hezi quit by the way I love you so much na asante ni asante ni kwa ku increase anointing by the way ki like ki share ki subscribe una increase anointing eh kwa sababu watu wataenda hapi tunaweza kuita aje mkiwa hivyo wengi hatuwezi lazima tukam na energy so na John nimesema kuambia next week but I promise you schedule na try na try ku make schedule niko na like tu vitu na try kufanya kumalizia ndio nirudi back on schedule so familia tu niki at least si kuilezi si ndio so that try kuwa more consistent actually na try kuwa more consistent so niki fail ku post like nikisema next week na niko se ku post wetwa video mbili zinakuja so asante again thank you so much kwa kila mtu ame subscribe by the kila mtu ana watch hata kama una watch na uja subscribe na ku appreciate pia kwa sababu pia unasaidia hiyo kitu inaitwa algorithm eh so i think that's as much as nitasema leo tuonane next week kama next week but one ile siku tu utaniona we to appreciate to presence venye na ku appreciate thank you i love you sisahau ku share sisahau ku subscribe bye like share subscribe